And my wife had to stop for a crepe from a stand on the way back from our with the drinks over a thousand dollar a thousand pound meal because she was not full it was unbelievable and just to finish this rant sorry dan but i've got to finish this rant what really what really gets me is that one of the best meals well i'll tell you the two best meals i've ever had first best meal i've ever had is at bernard Wazo's old place in in france now as you probably know bernard Loiseau committed suicide because he thought he was going to lose one of his michelin stars and the, the the restaurant is still there and it's still i think it's got two stars now um, and it's run by his daughter and in honor of bernard they still s- serve you on request i think the three-star meal from the 1990s when he committed suicide fucking hell it was un i've never what eaten food it? like it, it? Oh my god! I can still tell you. I can still remember the. I can still remember the, the whole meal. It was basically four courses. The first course is um, frog's legs with garlic puree. Um, the second course is uh, it's a white fish. I think it's sturgeon with a red wine reduction and shallots. The third course, which I will never forget, so the best thing I've ever eaten, which is um, which was veal. It's the first time I've ever eaten sweet bread. Uh, it was veal sweet bread with this kind of very rich roasted caramel, caramelly kind of not caramel sauce, but that kind of rich deep sauce. And the dessert, I, I didn't like the dessert so much. It was, it was, it was a bit over the top. It was one of the, I can't remember, it was very creamy. I didn't like it so much. But it, but, but it was, it was like every, those first three courses, each of them, I wanted to start crying with how amazingly incredible they are. And then last year, we went to, um, the Twag, Twag Grow in, you know, Brothers. Twag Grow. <laughs> Twag Grow. Yeah. I'm not very good at French. And, um, and, and, you know, the same, you know, the, you know, birthplace of Nouvelle Cuisine and on request, they will, they, they will cook you some stuff from the older menus. And so the famous dish there was salmon and sorrel. You know, I, I was like looking at the menu, it was all this Asian fusion. And I was thinking, oh, fuck, you know, we'd already eaten at a three star place on that holiday, which has been d- bitterly disappointing. And I've seen the same kinds of dishes again. And the, and the waiter said, well, if you want, we can make you salmon and sorrel. And I was like, you've got to be joking. I would love to eat salmon and sorrel. And um, I, again, it was like I wanted to start crying, Dan. It was so fucking delicious. And so with, 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 with that salmon and sorrel, and also they also cooked me the fillet of beef, which was in the original recipe with, that, with this incredible red wine reduction, which, again, was just like just inc- unbelievable. Like, uh, you know, and, and it made me realize that something happened in three-star dining because in the 90s and the 80s and the 70s this is what three-star dining tastes like it was about flavor it was about flavor (laughs) it was about flavors which could make you weep and i can still i still remember every single one of those dishes but today with the notable exception in my in the the places i've been to of long clue which i think long clue is incredible because it because it hasn't fallen into this trap They've forgotten about flavor. This is what I think they've forgotten about flavor in the status game with the three star chefs. It's all about technique. It's all about originality. It's all about provenance. And they've forgotten about smacking people around the head with incredible flavor. That's why I think I know it's controversial, but that's my rant. Right. There's <laughs> loads. To, there's loads to pull out there because I. I mean, I, I think the the game of status in in restaurants is and storytelling, as we kind of alluded to at the beginning, is is endlessly fascinating. Mm. I think ultimately what's happened with food, and I've had this as well before. I've gone to a restaurant that's in vogue, and you know, I've got. I live in Surrey. There's a place in Teddington I went to the other day. Uh, called the sh- called shambles. It's not a bit of a shit name for a restaurant, but the, the food is fucking bang on. It's unreal. Yeah. If you were to serve that in one of these, you know, hipster amazing restaurants mm. in in East London, or it's not three star food, it's slightly different. You'd be like, oh my god, this is insane. But because the status is less, it's not in the it's not in vogue. It's not in the magazines, etc., etc., etc. You kind of you don't get you don't get the same experience. 